Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's a boy Dean Shield, and today we're doing a Baltimore Ravens rebuild. There will be several parts of this. I was gonna do a stream, but uh, streams are being real quirky with just Madden for an odd reason. I don't know why. So these stream, so these rebuilds are no longer gonna be streams. They're gonna be 60 minute videos or less, depends of each part. But <sighs> Lamar Jackson. Quarterback of the future, goaded. Yeah, he's our quarterback for all time. Mark Ingram, I mean, he's gonna be here for this year. May even think about trading him right now, actually. I'm actually gonna try to trade him now. Cause he's 30. And we still got Edwards, who is... I'm getting a text, guys. Sorry, that's fun. Edwards is 25, and J.K. Dobbins is a rookie, so I think you know what we're gonna do there. Trade him. Um, receivers could use a little work, but Marquise Brown, he's gonna be phenomenal. Sneed, I mean, he's gonna have to be replaced. This guy's never gonna really develop. But Devin Duvernay, he's gonna be a really solid receiver in the future. Um, online, Stanley obviously stands out as a superstar. 26, 36 overall. Um, I'm in my phone now so I can focus on recording. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, what was I saying? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, he stands out. The rest of this online is okay. It's decent. It, it's got support. You know, but he's 29 and these guys aren't just very good. So, we have a superstar development tight end as our backup, but we got Andrews. Defensively, Calais Campbell, obviously brand new to this region team this year. He's 34. Pretty sure he's only on a one year contract. I'm almost certain. I don't know if we're going to re sign him. Oh, he's on a two-year deal as a... Th Dang, okay. I wouldn't think he'd be on that big of a deal. But, uh, he's here. Williams. He's getting pretty old. He's gonna need to be a replacement. I mean, whoa. Old. Basically, the whole D-line basically needs to be revamped. Like, the whole D-line needs to change. Just for the fact that all of them are super old. Humphrey, I mean, just an amazing corner. 90 overall, only 24. Peters is an 86, 27 year old. And he's still got Smith. He's 32. But really, Trayvon Young is 26. Patrick Green, he's good. But besides him, yeah. Like, we have a 30 year old who's a 71 overall. Like, I'm sorry, but that ain't gonna cut it. And. I'm sorry, but Stone, I know he's a rookie, but he ain't gonna cut it. Clark, I still think's pretty young. Yeah, he's 25. He's alright. There's a lot of old players on this team. We're not really on this team. A lot of old players on the defense. Defense is going to need a whole new ramp. Like, we're going to have to totally change uh, our defense. Like, we got to totally build it from the ground up. You know? And I'm going to be going after a... Mm, what would I be? It's not really worth it. We'll just look what positions are available. Devontae Freeman. Yeah, he's star development, so we'll take him. That's the only reason we'll take him. Retraining piece. 
See, this could be an interesting pickup. He's 28. He could be a good option for now at free safety. And I think that is what I'm gonna do. He's a good option for now. There he is, guys. Is off limits. Unfortunately. Because he's you know, done some stupid stuff, so. Yeah, no one really. Adrian Peterson got released? I never knew he got released. I guess I'm just stupid. Dang. But trades. Now, with this, the offense is gonna get worse, so our team overall is probably gonna get down. But we're gonna get a lot of value for later. I'm assuming because he's a high overall, we can still get good amount of value. I just, <laughs> no. I love those guys, but they're like impossible to get. 19th overall pick. Projected. I mean, the Bucks. Cardinal. Uh, they could be good. Ah. Uh. That, oh, Chargers are the best bet here. Yeah, they want they want Ingram like really bad. Like they are dying to get him. I don't think they would want a thirty year old RG three. Yeah, of course they don't. We only have two D tackles on the team. Middle linebacker is a wheat suit for us, so no. Did they want stone? They don't. Honestly, do we just keep stone? And try to, to just get one on a draft? I think that's actually what we do. We just trade Radler. I wasn't planning on trading him, but... We can just get a guy in the draft and we're in the number four overall pick out of that. So, Devontae Freeman. Chiefs want you, Eagles want you. That would be a really good one to. Patriots want you. Yeah, I think we, we would have to go with the Eagles here. And their picks valued really high, even though it's probably not gunning, going to be, gunning to be. Fifth rounder for next year, I think the Eagles would accept that. No. Mm. Maybe I do have to offer like, some like, weird and dumb to, See, it's already kind of thinny there. Oh, Nick, boy. I mean, we don't really need a home one. You know what? A superstar player? Like, I've never heard of that. I mean, we really need to get Smith out of the system. But the thing is... If we get Smith out of the system... Right? We're getting no one to be a number four corner. <laughs> we literally got no one. So I really don't think that's something I do. I think I have to give them a four for next year. They won't even take that. Oh, do I give them a third for next year? I think I do. I think I have to. All right, well, we got a first round pick from the Eagles. And I don't think we trade that tight end. At least yet, we may. So as I said, as I thought, we went down in overall. But it, it was getting some first round picks early. And we'll still get more. 
trading in off season. This is the team for year one though. I mean, I'm not confident in it. I'm not excited about it at all. Well, I mean, Ravens, this should be a pretty good team. I'm just worried about that safety position. That's why we could just go ahead and pick up Haha Clinton Dix. Well, okay, uh, uh, problem solved, actually. Problem is solved. Now I feel a lot more better about our secondary. For the fact that we have Haha <laughs> Clinton Dix um, playing back there. We gotta cut several players. A bench tight end who has a 29 overall. How are you that bad in having a face? Third quarterback on the roster. Injuries are off, so he can go. I don't think we're gonna go through. Yeah, I don't think. Especially Benjamin linebacker. Bench receiver out of here. Another bench receiver. And we cut everybody. We had to. All right. So, uh, we're going to go to midseason. Hopefully, this Ravens team is a playoff team and that they should be as they are in real life. And I didn't do anything to their roster except remove Ingram and then adding a better free safety. I don't think Ingram's going to make that huge difference whether or not it's still a good team. And I'm right. They're 5-2, and two, so it didn't make that huge of a difference without him. So... Uh, several players need to negotiate, but we are currently leading our division. Uh, good. Our offense is back to an 85 overall progression. Lamar's a 96 for morale right now. Devin Duvernay is a 72. J.K. Dobbins is catching up to Edwards. He's probably... J.K. Dom is probably going to be our number one back next year. And Edwards will be back to a number... Being back to a number two back. Um, Queen's developing nicely like we thought he would. But yeah. Uh, we're starting off good. So let's negotiate with some of these players. All right, so Ronnie Stanley has to come back. He's our top lineman. He's young. He's getting a huge contract. And he comes back to Baltimore. Our punter is 38 years old, but I don't think punters really digress much. Like, oh yeah, he's still progressing. Well, I mean, we only have a year, so maybe that doesn't pop up yet. But punters don't really digress that much. So, 38. Yeah, 85 or all you can get resigned. Gene Smith, I'm going to say no. You're 28, and you want a four-year contract. What about a three? I don't think I'm going to keep him for three years. Two-year. Two-year contract. All right, he'll take a two-year. Okay. I mean, he's our starting lineman, so we kind of have to. He's just going to digress so bad. I mean, I'll give him two years, I guess, but he's still... He, we're probably going to end up replacing him, but I'll sign him just in case we can't. I mean, another guy that I'm looking to replace this year, but... Just in the wild case that we can't, we have to stick with a 70-something, like... Low 70 overall, defensive end. He's there. Um, Willie Sneen. 27. He's still fairly young. I feel comfortable bringing him back for now. I feel like I can bring him back uh, for now. This is a guy I don't really want to bring back. He's just going to digress so much. But we really don't have anybody else to fill those shoes. Edwards is our current number one back. He'll be our future number two back. I still think we have to bring him in. Even if it's only for a two-year deal. 
Bowser. Ooh. I forgot Bowser was here. So we didn't even have to sign him to that contract, did we? I'll end up cutting him probably. I don't know. I'll, I'll see, but I forgot Bowser was on this team. He's a backup, so he's not a very memorable player, but I forgot he was on this team. Or I would have made a different move when it came to uh, what I did. But yeah, we're looking good. Uh, we're definitely should be a playoff team unless we lose almost every game to this point. And I just don't think this Baltimore team is going to do that. I at least hope. You know, I feel like they can go out and uh, win the, uh, not win the playoffs, but make it to the playoffs. Like, no problemo. But yeah, we'll see. And we get a first round bye. Nice. We went 12 and four. Nice. Um, Steelers from our division made it a number six seed. So they looked like ended up shaping into a pretty good team. What was their record? They went 10 and six. The Browns nowhere close to what they were in real life. It's also the Steelers aren't either. Man, all right. Uh, we had the fourth best offense in the league. And sixth best defense. And Lamar Jackson had 4,700 yards, 45 touchdowns, 13 TDs. Lamar was throwing like a passer, not a runner. Edwards had 820 yards, 11. He had a lot of touchdowns, not too many yards. Jake Nobbins had eight touchdowns. Lamar... Madden, like, give us some realistic numbers. Like, Lamar would have at least, I want to say, 600 rushing yards on a season. And that's if he has a bad rushing season. Probably he should be anywhere getting from, I would say, even 800 to 1,000. Because he's just, he just runs that much. <sighs> Madden, so. Receiving-wise, Sneed, 1,400 yards and six touchdowns. I, I forgot to check the slot. He must have been in the slot. Marquise Brown had 1,100 yards and six touchdowns. Mark Andrews had a pretty good year. J.K. Dobbins was a... J.K. Dobbins had 16 total touchdowns on the year. With eight rushing and eight receiving. About 400 yards. Ain't bad. Uh, Patrick Queen led the team with tackles with 103. Clayus Campbell had 15 for loss. Led the team. Matthew Judon led the team with sacks of eight and a half. Clayus Campbell got seven. It was okay, pressure. Interceptions. Marlon Humphrey had four. Chuck Clark had three. Ledger Fraught had two. Ben Peters had two. Jamie Smith had one. Anthony Leland had one. Ha, huh? Glenn Dix had one. Yeah, good year. Uh, I think Lamar may have won MVP. And he did. Well, first year of the rebuild, he wins MVP. If we win the Super Bowl here, this is going to be a one-part episode. A one-part rebuild. We didn't win best coach. Sean Payne won best coach for 13-3 Saints team. Of course he did. We were number two, though, for coach of the year. AFC offense player goes to Lamar Jackson. Sneed deserves to be in that. AFC defensive player to your trend Edmonds. Not win it, but like be in there. AFC offensive rookie of the year, Justin Herbert. J.K. Dobbins at number three. That's it. AFC defense rookie of the year, Logan Wilson. Patrick Queen at number three. That's it. Okay, Edwards had the at least win best wide receiver. Right? He should be an offense player of the year, even though receivers never do. He just had a, he had a wild season. 
But he's at least the best wide receiver. Yeah, by he's probably the best wide receiver by far. I actually want to check that because he just had such an unbelievable year that there's no way. Like, there's just no way any receiver beat him in receiving yards. Yeah, the closest guy was Crowder, oddly enough, with 1,200. We had two receivers in the top four for receiving yards out of anybody in the league in the NFL. Dang. And I bet he had the most touchdowns, too. Yeah, he did. Closest was Michael Thomas with only 13. 13's a lot, but Sneed was just boom, you know? Um, but we'll have to see who we're facing in the divisional round, and hopefully we do not get upset. I do not want an upset to happen. And we got the Houston Texans, who went 9-7. and seven. They were nowhere close to that in real life. Uh, coach, I swept it. Oh, so this is basically... Clay's Campbell is guaranteed, basically, to retire. So we're definitely going to need to revamp the whole D-line next year. If we if we don't win the Super Bowl this year, and he wants to win the Super Bowl, hope we can win it for him. We're gonna jump into Super Sim. We should easily beat the Houston Texans, um, but you never know. Houston Texans Texans. You never know, uh, this should be an easy W, but you never know. So we're gonna jump into Super Sim. But I think we're um, basically guaranteed to move on to the conference championship. Just Todd Watson had a good year, I would say, but Lamar Jackson had a lot better year. MVP, of course. Two year rating MVP, that makes him. Dang. Here we go. It's all defense, three nothing. Seven three, we lead. Seven six, 14 six, start of the second half. 21 to six, 21 13, 24 13. And yep, 24-13, we take down the Houston Texans. Oh my god, text my friend and I'm recording. Sorry about that, but yeah. We take the Houston Texans down. 24-13, move on to the AFC Conference Championship game. Lamar, three touchdowns, no picks, 341 yards. What a day for Lamar. On the ground, Edwards, 9-32, didn't really do much. Neither did Dobbins. Hold on. Josh, my friend, you guys know him. He won't start bothering me. Um, <laughs> Lamar had tried to scramble four times, had no rushing yards. That's interesting. Sneed, I can't explain it. 106 yards for him. Miles Brick had 74, but two touchdowns. And Mark Andrews had 51 in one touchdown. Um, uh, Deshaun Watson didn't throw any picks. So we, it's not really... Oh, I guess it's important to check out the defense. For sacks. Two for Juden. One for Wolf. Really? Campbell didn't get in there at all. He didn't really do much this game. Interesting, but um, we're moving on to the conference championship game. We're already this close, this early in the rebuild. This may not be very much of a rebuild if we uh, keep doing what we're doing here. 
Um, I don't think I really need quarterback training, honestly, because Lamar's already so good that he's kind of not even needed. We're definitely going to need D-line training because we're totally revamping that if we don't win the Super Bowl this year. Like, that's totally being redone in, off -season, in the offseason and the draft, so... Conference championship, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be, whoa, hello, did my game just crash? No, it didn't, all right. It's Indianapolis Colts, not Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. I'm very surprised at that. Weekly awards, Lamar got in there, and our defense player got in there. So where did the Chiefs Chiefs were got knocked out by the Texans? Oh, I didn't realize that. So if we can get past the Colts, we gotta play either the Saints or the Seahawks. Both very tough teams. Let's see what Humphrey's got to say. I mean, we keep getting plus 20 morale. Like, has our, and our defense ain't going up in overall, like. Oh no, they are, they are, all of them are skyrocketing because of it. Smith is in 85 overall now because of it. <laughs> oh my God. That's actually kind of crazy. But we got an 11 and five Colts team. Still a very good team. They're only an 82 overall. We're a 85. Oh, I forgot to trade for Quincy Nelson. Something I always do, Quincy Nelson. I don't know how, somehow, some way, I forgot this time. Eh, we can trade him for the off season. We can go get him in the off season. See, when it goes receiver comparison, it doesn't even go to our player, like, the best receiver. Like, it goes to the best receiver, but not the receiver who had the best year. That's what I mean. It's kind of weird. But, uh, of course, we're home for the AFC Championship game. So, let's jump into Super Sam. Can we beat Phillip Rivers and the Colts? So we're up 7-0 early. They tie it 7-7. 10-7. Ooh, we're down 14-10, 14-13. Second half, 21-14, 21-21, 28-21, 31-21, 31-24, and the Baltimore Ravens are going to the Super Bowl. We're going to the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson completing 24 of 33 of his passes for a touchdown and interception. Philip for 269 yards. Philip outplayed him. Interesting. Rushing J.K. Dobbins led the way, but Edwards had two touchdowns. Lamar Jackson again not doing much on the ground makes no sense, but Brown had eight for 116. Andrews had five for 41. Defensively, Judon takes Rivers to the ground. What is it exact, except we have more sacks. Like, Clay's Campbell got a half sack, so he got into this game a little more. Can he more have picked off Lamar Jackson? Uh, not the best game for Lamar Jackson, if I'm gonna be honest. Really what ruined that game was his interception, but it was still enough to get us to the AFC. Nah, sorry, to get us to the Super Bowl. So, uh, we're going to the Super Bowl against the New Orleans Saints. 
Drew Brees probably his final year. Trying to win a Super Bowl his final year, but Lamar Jackson won't let that happen. Lamar Jackson versus Drew Brees in the Super Bowl. This Super Bowl still has a chance of happening in real life. I believe, and this would be an awesome Super Bowl if it does. Honestly, in my opinion, I think an even better Super Bowl would be Breeze and Mahomes. But this would be the second. You know, like, this would be a crazy game for the Super Bowl. And, yeah, the Saints are winning 21-3 to right now as I speak against the Bears in the fourth quarter in the wild card round. So this looks like, it, yeah, it could still happen. So, pretty interesting. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but... Super Bowl time. Can the Baltimore Ravens beat the New Orleans Saints? They are higher overall than us. That's a little intimidating. But hopefully we still take it to them and win this game. I've noticed every time we jump in in the playoffs, we've had to kick off. So we receive it. We receive the ball second half every time. Something to note. Saints go up an early 3 nothing over us. Oh, we take the lead 7-3. 14-3. 14-10, 21-10, 24-10, Saints are battling their way back, 24-19, 31-19, They couldn't score in. Lamar Jackson just won the Super Bowl. Well, all this trading we did, the setup for the future, uh, didn't matter. Rebuild's already over. Now, I kind of do want to do another year. <sighs> do we do another year? Like, actually get into off season. <sighs> nah, I, I just like... I feel like the goal of these rebuilds is to take your team to the Super Bowl. J.K. Dobbins, weirdly enough, won Super Bowl MVP, but that's kind of cool. But I think the goal of these rebuilds is to take the team to the Super Bowl, not play multiple years, try to get them to the Super Bowl multiple times, and we've completed our mission. Queen holding up that Super Bowl Lombardi trophy. And now giving it to Lamar Jackson, the man. We can very well still see this in real life. I think it's unlikely. I think Patrick Mahomes is going to the Super Bowl. But you never know. You never know. Um, Lamar Jackson outperforming Drew Brees. Completed 26 of his passes out of 34 attempts. 319 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Ooh. J.K. Dobbins, 15 for 65, but two touchdowns. Sneed ran the ball four times. Okay. 81. Sneed had two touchdowns in this game. Sacks, one and a half for Juden. Bowser had one. Queen had a half sack. Interceptions. Lamar and Davis had one against Lamar. But we... But Clark was able to pick it off of Breeze. And we're Super Bowl champions. Guys, I know this didn't last very long. But with some teams, it ain't going to last very long, you know? We're one and one for getting teams to the Super Bowl. So if our two rebuilds were done, we're one and one to completing our uh, mission. Oh, I went to upgrade players and... Weird things just happened. But one final look at the team. 
Lamar Jackson, even without morale, officially a 99 overall. I mean, J.K. Dobbins at this point, the better running back. Just look at this final team. We didn't really have to do much. All we did was haul Clint Dix and get rid of Ingram. All we did. <laughs> Extremely easy rebuild, but guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on notifications if you want to see more rebuilds. Um, I don't know who the next team is to be, but guys, um, teams who are not as talented yet. Um, teams who are not as talented do take longer. The Bears, we did a five year rebuild. We're not able to win the Super Bowl. We got to, like to the NFC Championship like twice, you know. weren't able to get done, but with Baltimore Ravens we do. Hey. Hmm? All right, we can do one.